6 o'clock. Just walking up to the blinds. guys, Boss and I are on the road again. We uh, just left home. It's quarter to five on Thursday, September 19th. And uh, we're going to pick up uh, my buddy and then we're heading up north to go moose hunting. So I'm about an hour behind schedule. Um, something came up at work and I just wasn't comfortable leaving until it was wrapped up. So got that done and we are on our way. It is a long drive. We'll probably be pulling in um, at about 1.30 in the morning, maybe 2, something like that. So, here we go. Boss, you say hi? No? You sleeping? Alright, talk to you soon. guys well we made it it's quarter after two in the morning so Friday September 20th 2 a.m. 2:15. as you can see we're just unloading and uh, then we're just gonna have a drink or two and hit the sack tomorrow's gonna be a big day setting up uh, sight lines and blinds and getting everything ready for the hunt so uh, might check in with you again tonight but um, if not, we'll see you in the morning. Morning, guys. Well, it is 10.30. We got up at 10 o'clock. We didn't get to bed till probably 6.30 a.m. So, the most sleep we could have had was three and a half hours, and there was quite the storm that rolled through here last night. It was pretty awesome to watch for a bit. Well, we're just going to get fed and watered, and... Get moving, get camp set up, get the gear kind of figured out, and make our way to the to the hunting spot and get all set up this morning. That's going to take us several hours, I'm sure, with you know three of us plus all the gear. We'll probably have to make two trips with the small boat I've got, but uh, it should be good. Boss is outside right now chasing a squirrel. And uh, I'm just going to find something here to eat and, and then we're going to get uh, suited up and get moving. So, talk to you soon. Hey guys. Well, we're loaded up. We got the boat ready. We're going to go set up uh, our hunting spot and put out some scent. I got trail cameras to check and uh, then we're going to do some calling and Go back to the cabin and have a good supper. And then the hunting starts tomorrow. So once we get to our spot, I'll uh, set you up and let you have a look. 
Yeah, that might be a good idea. You know, it's honestly not as bad as I thought for spacing here with this gear. Not bad at all. With three of us. Yeah, not bad at all. I was nervous how full it was going to be. Like, we were talking two trips possibly before. Oh, we're looking good. Yeah. Totally happy with this. It sure got deep fast, eh? Up right. that little edge. Yeah. Just <laughs> Yeah. Well, we made it. Our, uh, hey, boss. We got our gear on shore. So we just need to get it all up on the top of this hill. Cut a proper uh, path through here. We've got a little bit of cleanup to do uh, to make it a nice path. And then uh, we'll start setting up. Just what a difference, night and day being able to see through these walls. Just amazing. All right, we're just about set here. Give you a tour. So I'm probably gonna put the buddy heater in this corner here. And then there's my blind shelf. So I've got places to put my binoculars and sandwich and that kind of stuff. Camp chair and a butt pad. And uh, this 
my view as soon as I turn my head to the right. I can see perfectly through there. I can see in there, down the main channel, and to the trail. And a little past the trail, in fact, but... But, uh... I'm gonna go this way. Camera has a hard time going through that stuff, but... There we go, we're set. So I don't know if they're the right height or not, but I'll find that out tomorrow when I bring my rifle. But there's just this rest that goes from arm to arm, and then I've got my bipod there for if I gotta shoot out a different window. All right. That's it, I'm just gonna do the final touches here. I'm gonna get it um, secured to the ground with some rocks on the tie outs and then we'll start putting out some scent. How much salad you got back there? Oh, I got lots. Oh yeah, you do. Oh my, <laughs> well, we got coleslaw for dinner. Oh, Coleslaw's yeah. taken care of. So, there's the island or the peninsula we're on. It's pretty hard to see because I'm kind of facing the sun, but you can see blind number one Whoa. and blind number two. So, we're just uh, going to be putting out scent all along the edge here and then uh, calling it a day. Well, we checked the uh, cameras that I had out here since the end of June. 5,000 some pictures of wind. So, it, it uh, 14 days, nothing came into the scent I put out. It's not a good sign, but uh, my buddy Jeff here, he's getting supper ready. Look at that. Get a couple nice big steaks and then boss gets his own. <laughs> Spoiled brat. Hey, my boy is spoiled. But, uh, yeah, so, you can see here the little workstation there, just, uh, I'll probably do some video editing tomorrow or the next day. Uh, just, right now, I'm packing, getting ready for tomorrow, Jeff's, you know, halfway there. And, um, yeah, once, uh, once I get, you know, packed here, supper should be on the go, and then we can just have a nice relaxing evening, and, uh, I think 4 a.m. is the, uh, the wake-up call, so... It's gonna be uh, it's gonna be kind of not a dry run tomorrow. We did our dry run today during the, the day, but you know, going in at night's always different, and you know, we're parking the boat in a different spot this time, and um, so it's gonna be uh, maybe a rough start, maybe not. We'll see what happens. But, um, yeah, so we're just uh, getting things ready tonight, and check in with you again. Morning, guys. It's five o'clock, four fifty-two. And uh, we're loaded, ready to go. It's super foggy, but uh, we're heading to the boat now. Got a little extra gear this morning to put in there that we won't have to going forward, but we're on schedule, so let's go get them. <laughs> 